Hello everyone, you're watching Zentech Mike. Welcome to my channel. Hello everyone, welcome to today's unboxing. Today we're going to be reviewing the DeWalt DCE530B. It's DeWalt's new 20 volt cordless heat gun. It's DeWalt's answer to Milwaukee's own 18 volt heat gun. Let's take a look. As you can see, I've unboxed the tool. This is just a bare tool. I have several DeWalt batteries lying around. The box brings the heat gun, two nozzle tips, and a user manual. Now I've brought along a 5 amp power battery and a 2 amp power battery to test it with. The tool has a lock and trigger for safety, a lock switch for continuous heat, and a speed switch for high and low speed. There's also an LED indicator right underneath the actual nozzle. Let's take it for a test drive. So I've got with me an 832nd fine threaded rod and two heat shrink tubes. We're going to see how good this tool really is. Hmm, not bad. Nice tight fit. Not coming off. I'm gonna try this again with the other heat shrink, but this time I'm gonna put it in low mode. I'm also gonna lock the trigger so that you see the functionality of the actual trigger lock. As you can see, the trigger is depressed. The heat gun is on its own. We got it in low speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up. I'll stand this back a little here so you can see the heat. Yep, it's heating up fine. Now I'm testing this with a two amp hour battery. Almost done. Well, you can see that in the high mode, it was actually a lot faster, which is understandable. This is more for, you know, delicate situations where you don't want to burn something. You just apply a little bit of heat, a little bit of contact. Now let's take a look at their rod. Well, as you can see, that two heat shrink tubes at the ends, nice and tight. Nice and fit. Yeah. This will do great in my shop. Now I'm sure we're all wondering if the five amp hour battery makes a difference. A lot of people believe that when you add a higher amp hour battery to any of the DeWalt tools, you get a little bit more torque. And some people think it's a myth. Some people think it's just a placebo. But we're gonna go ahead and take a look today. Now in the world of electrical theory, a higher capacity battery yields more current draw. So what I'm expecting from this experiment is either the element heating up faster or, you know, let's say causing the breaker to trip. But these aren't designed to let, you know, run more than an hour at a time. So uh, I wouldn't imagine a situation where you would have your heat gun on anyway. These uh, batteries pretty much uh, last about 30 minutes if you're using the 2 amp hour battery I believe is supplied. And I'm under the impression that if I add a 5 amp hour battery, I would either double or triple that time. But it doesn't really matter because I don't see myself ever having my uh, heat gun running for that long. I'll just heat up here and there, turn it off, look at my project, and then continue if I need to. So to dig a bit further in the theory, the uh, controller on these devices don't change. Whether it's the electric drill, whether it's a saw, whatever tool the wall provides, they all have their set uh, circuit breaker. So as long as you don't reach the, the amount of current needed to trip it, you should essentially get more power out of these batteries. So for example, the uh, 2 amp hour battery, if it's only designed to draw out 40 amps at a time, 
and your breaker trips at 90, you're only going to get 40 amps. Now, this uh, bigger battery, the 5 amp hour battery, it's about two and a half times bigger than the 2 amp hour battery. So you should essentially be able to draw two and a half times more of a 40 amp hour draw, you know, given the, the, the example of 40 amps. So you should essentially be able to draw 90 and almost 100 amp hours with the bigger battery. Of course, you know, the limitations are the circuitry, whether it can handle it on the battery and the circuitry on the actual tool. Let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and mount the 2 amp hour battery on the tool and put it in high mode. Remember, we're trying to get this to heat up as fast as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and count how long it takes for this to become the bright red color that we're looking for. Oh, sorry. Give me a second. So, as you can see, it takes about a few seconds for it to heat up. Now, I didn't measure the temperature out of this, but, you know, I, I'm, I assume that whenever something is bright red and hot, it emits a nice amount of heat. What I want to do is see if there's a sound difference between the lower amp hour battery and the higher amp hour battery, because that'll let me know whether there is more current being pushed through. I believe the fan spins relative to the current draw. Unless it has a constant, you know, speed, then that's different, but we'll go ahead and take a look at that now. We're going to go ahead and switch over to the 5 amp hour battery. Same process. High mode. We're going to go ahead and count, and we're going to look for sound. Oh, sorry, here for sound. Let's see what we're looking at. Now, I can already tell it sounds a lot higher, and the brightness is actually a steadier flow, and it's even brighter. I can feel the heat from where I'm at. Wow. Mm. It's really close to the camera. So definitely a bigger battery goes and gives you more current. Man, this thing's bright. Oof. So I expect at least an hour with this bat uh, machine. There you have it, folks. You've watched the DeWalt DC530B cordless heat gun, brand new by DeWalt. I can say this is a very fancy tool. You know, I don't ever use the nozzle tips because I just apply heat to certain things, but... It's good to know that I have two tips here to look at in case I ever, you know, need to have a specific heat up setting or even anything that I needed to apply direct contact to. So this is a wonderful buy. I, uh, I recommend it to anybody out there. Me, I just bought the bird tool, like I said, because I have batteries lying around and I don't need another charger. I've already owned four and I've already sold two. So this is a great buy for those who just want to get a tool, you know, a heat gun, I mean. You know, if you have batteries lying around, buy the bird tool or look at the kit. Now, I won't mention where I bought this from because I'm trying to see if they allow me to put them on the actual uh, YouTube channel. But please stay tuned for more videos like these. I have a ton of tools that I'm waiting to go ahead and offload to you all. Thanks for watching. Have a good time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.